Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not filmed in so long, which I actually think is true. It's been about maybe a week and a half or two weeks since I filmed a video. I actually just got back from a beach vacation with my family. I shared a bunch of pictures on Instagram. We had such an amazing time. I completely unplugged other than taking pictures of outfits and taking pictures of me and my family family. As much as I love YouTube and social media and connecting, sometimes it is good to remove yourself from the phone because we can tend to get so addicted to our cell phones. We really can. At least I speak for myself when I say I definitely am checking Instagram all the time or YouTube comments and responding. And sometimes it's good to just take a break, take a step back, spend time with family, kind of regroup, and it was so much fun. We actually just got back from our vacation today and I was missing YouTube so much that I desperately wanted to film a favorites video. So like I said, we just got back. We had like a six, seven hour drive. I got home and I thought I would film a favorites. Now today's favorites video is going to be everything I've been loving the past month. And I have some luxury items, some non-luxury. It's kind of a mixture. It's kind of some random favorites. These are all the items I've been reaching for. I have handbags. They have a perfume. I have some sunglasses. I have some dresses. I have a couple other random things. And at the end, I actually have two little unboxings to share. So stay tuned for that. So I think we're just going to start with a handbag that I have been loving. And this is a contemporary handbag. And you know that I had been looking for a new summer raffia bag. I do have my lovely Dior raffia bag that I wear for special occasions, but I wanted a bag that I could wear with my colorful summer dresses. And I found this one. I got this from Neiman Marcus. I had a $150 gift card to Neiman Marcus and I put it towards this. I have been loving this. As you can see, it is a raffia material with the gold hardware, but because it is very neutral, it pairs really nicely with my summer dresses. So I'll picture, put a picture up of me wearing like one of my Lily Pulitzer dresses. Hard to find handbags that go with dresses like that, and this one has been perfect. So it is a raffia handbag, but it has a little pocket here, which I love. I always put my phone in there. It also has this strap, which is not removable, but the strap is adjustable. And then I love it because it is one large compartment. There is a zip there, but this bag fits so much. And I've just found that in the summer, especially lately, I've been reaching for this quite a bit. I do still love my other raffia handbags as well, but this is a bag that I reach for if I just want a really carefree bag that's easy, that's comfortable to wear, that fits a lot. And again, I love that it has this front pocket for my phone. It has been amazing. If you have been wanting to invest in a good quality raffia bag, but you don't want to go the designer route, then I would definitely recommend this. I have been contemplating getting another designer raffia bag but I just didn't find anything that I was completely in love with and I'll tell you I found this one the quality is there it wasn't quite as expensive and I've been using it non-stop so this has been definitely one of my favorites over the past month not going to go in any particular order. We're going to kind of go back and forth. I do have some other handbags to share, but I want to share a fragrance. The fra Now, I change my fragrances up quite a bit, but this is the one I've been reaching for quite a bit. It is by Le Labo, and it is another 13. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that during the Nordstrom sale, I picked up the little Discovery set, which comes with three scents. Initially thinking I was going to go for Santal 33. That is the one that's really popular. But I ended up not really liking that one too much, and I love this one. It is a little potent, I have mentioned, so I'll always spray it on my wrists, spray it on my hair. Oh my gosh, and it just has some... It's very unique and different. So typically for me, I go for the citrus, fruity scents. This one is a little, little more woody, but I just absolutely love it. It is so intoxicating. I've gotten so many compliments. I will put the notes up on the screen because I am not the best at describing 
fragrance notes I'm really not but this smells absolutely delicious and like I said I do like to change up my perfumes quite a bit but this is the one I have been going for after I bought the discovery set I thought you know what I really want to buy the full size fragrance of this and I had a $20 gift card to Nordstrom that I had gotten as part of the little influencer package from Nordstrom from the Nordstrom sale and I thought I'd put it towards this and I have been loving it. All right, let's talk about another handbag. This is a bag I had been wanting for so long and it really has lived up to the hype for me and it is the Evelyn TPM or the Evelyn 16. I had been wanting this bag for years, but I wasn't sure if I wanted the little one or if I wanted the larger size because of the back pocket. That is what really sold me was the back pocket, but then this size, it, like the cuteness of this, I could not resist. I recently did a dedicated video sharing pros, cons, matchas, what fits, everything you could imagine if you are curious about this bag. I go into a lot of detail, but this has been amazing. I have worn this so much. And believe it or not, it has helped me to wear my Iran sandals. You know my love-hate relationship with the Iran sandals. I love the way they look, but for some reason with my feet, they just do not mesh well. They're not comfortable, but when I wear this bag, they match perfectly with those shoes, so I, it's been forcing me to wear those more. But I love this bag. It is so cute. You have the H logo, which in case you weren't aware, you are supposed to wear the bag this way. The logo is supposed to be in the back, but I like to wear it like this because I just think the H is so cute. It has this little snap closure, and on the inside, it is one large compartment. You would be amazed at what fits in this bag. So much fits, and I find that it's really easy to access my things too. It comes with this strap, which is not adjustable. I wish it was adjustable, but it still hits at a good length. Very comfortable to wear. The strap does twist a little bit on me, but I still like it. It still is very comfortable but I'm more so amazed at what fits in this. When you see this little guy, you would think to yourself, okay, that's a mini bag, but is it really gonna be functional? I'm here to tell you it 100% is functional. I love it and I've been wearing it so much. So not only have I been wearing it in this, the summer months, but because of the beautiful caramel color of the bag, well, it's actually gold to be exact, that's the color, but I think it's gonna pair nicely with things in the fall too. So I have been loving this bag. If you go into a boutique and they have one, I would highly recommend it. I am just so happy and so pleased with it. And another thing about that bag too is if you watched my unboxing video, I did share the prices at the time and this bag comes in at $2,200, which I know is still very pricey. However, for Hermes, I was pleasantly surprised with that price because Hermes can be super pricey and a lot of people don't think they can afford a bag from Hermes, but I thought for a luxury bag that was priced well, let's change gears. Let's talk about something I picked up from the Nordstrom sale and it was probably one of my favorite purchases. Everyone was raving, all the bloggers, influencers were raving about the Moonlit PJs. And I thought to myself, everyone is mentioning these. Why, why, why? Let me just order them. I ordered a pair in black. Oh my gosh, I love them. I got the long sleeve shirt and the pants i got it in black the material is so soft and thin but it feels like so nice to sleep in usually i am really hot when i sleep so the idea of wearing long sleeve just doesn't appeal to me but i am just so comfortable when i wear those it's crazy like i hate when those are dirty because i have to wait to do the laundry till i can wear them again i like them so much that i got my daughter a pair i have the black i got her a pair in the navy blue i should have picked up another pair for the sale but i didn't so i'll probably wait until next time but they are so good if you're looking for a good pair of luxe jammies definitely consider the moonlit pajamas from nordstrom they're so good i've even heard they have them at nordstrom rack as well so i'm gonna have to check that out Let's talk about a pair of sunglasses, and this is another pair of sunglasses that I picked up during the sale, and they were these Tiffany & Co. Sunnies. Now, under no circumstances did I need another pair of black sunglasses, but let's be honest, they were black, they had silver here, they had the little like silver link, which I thought would pair nicely with my jewelry, and then they had the Tiffany blue, and the cool thing about this, as you'll see, there is a little bit of a blue 
tint in the frames and I just think it is so beautiful but I love these because they're comfortable to wear I think they're chic you can wear them comfortable you can dress them up wear them with like a work outfit I just really really enjoy them and I was lucky enough to get them on sale every year during the Nordstrom sale I try to pick up a pair of sunglasses last year I think I picked up a pair of Tiffany & Co sunglasses too but they were like the silver square glasses and these are just the black but I just love them I'm so glad I picked them up I had also seen a pair of Aviator Tiffany & Co sunglasses, but I wear my Chanel ones all the time that I told myself, you know what? You do not need to get those because you already have the Chanel's, but I love these. All right, let's talk about a really affordable item. I just got back from the beach and I was looking for a new beach bag. And the beach bag that I had in the past was a big raffia tote. It was huge. I wanted something that was a little more like flexible that I could kind of fold up in my travel bag and I got this beach bag here. It is from Target. It was like 20 bucks but it fit so much. So what I did when I went to the beach, I had my little Dior raffia pouch. I got that as a free gift with purchase from Dior Beauty. I always share with you the free gifts on Instagram, so make sure you're following me. But I put all my sunscreen in there, and then I put that in the bag. I'll try to see if I can find a picture. But this was so nice. I would also put a towel in here, um, like my husband's book, some sunglasses. I had my daughter's football in here. Surprisingly, it fit a lot. But I, the thing I like is how like bendy it is and how flexible. It also paired really nicely. I picked up a new pair of the Raffia slides. Now they definitely took me back because when I was younger I used to wear the platforms and they're coming back in style. So I got those two and they paired nicely together. But this coordinated well with the hat I owned as well as my sandals. And I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. For 20 bucks, I definitely wanted to mention, mention it. If you don't want just this plain color, they had a bunch of other colors as well. So if you have an upcoming beach vacation coming up, definitely consider it. We are coming towards the end of summer where I live, so I won't be going to the beach again anytime soon, but I'm definitely going to save this for next year because I loved using this at the beach. All right, now I want to share some dresses that I've been loving. If you are familiar with me and my channel and my Instagram page, you know that in the summer I love dresses. That's all I wear in the summer, main reason because I feel they're very comfortable to wear, they're very easy. Like in the fall, in the winter, you have to think, what top am I gonna wear? What bottom am I gonna wear? If you wear a dress, you literally just pick a dress and then you accessorize to the dress. Plus they're comfortable, you don't have to worry about them riding up like shorts do. So anyway, I love Lily Pulitzer dresses. I recently got back from vacation and I wore three different Lily Pulitzer dresses. I had one which was, it had kind of, it looked like it had coral on it, like blue coral. I also had a really colorful like green and pink one and then I wore a blue one as well and I have so many Lily dresses. I tried to wait for the Lily sales or a gift with purchase which they did recently just have a gift with purchase. It was like a cute little jewelry box or if I get a coupon. But the reason I love Lily dresses is they're so bright and beautiful and happy and they're comfortable and um, when I was at the beach I got so many compliments on the bright and colorful dresses. I really I really did and I just I love them. They're easy. Basically when I went to the beach I got bought those dresses. I had a couple accessories that I'd wear with them and then I had a pair of gold flip-flops that I got from J. Crew that I would wear with it and they were just so easy and effortless and I just love dresses. That is one thing. I'm excited for fall and the fall weather but I am going to miss dress season because it's just so easy to pop on a dress as opposed to having to worry about oh picking out a top and a bottom. I okay the next item I want to talk about is a makeup item, and I can't remember if I've mentioned this in a favorites video, but I had to mention it because I'm still loving it, and it is a mascara. It is this Dagon Tarte Tubing Mascara. This is the Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara. I am wearing it today. This is so good. My favorite mascara used to be the Bad Gal Bang. Not any longer. This is so good for me. Now some people claim that they have flaking with this. I have not had any flaking, but usually what I'll do is I'll apply a couple coats, wait for it to dry, do a couple other steps for my makeup, go back and do it again, and my lashes I feel look so long with this mascara. And then all you do is when you go to wash your face, you have lukewarm water, and then you'll literally go like this, and you'll pull 
off the fiber so it's a tubing mascara so basically it coats each of your lashes and it's like a little tube and you like pull it off so it kind of looks like you have fake eyelashes on but not really because they're little fibers that attach so I don't know what the technology is with this but I really really love it the wand is just like a plastic wand so it kind of reminds me of the wand for the bad girl bang mascara but yeah this has the fibers I just love it so much I've already bought a bunch of tubes this is the XL I've also tried the regular one in the purple tube and that works just as good but this is the one I've been using lately and I love it if you're looking for a good new mascara that's really going to lengthen your lashes trust me when I say this is going to be your new best friend all right I want to talk about another handbag and it is another one I got from the Nordstrom sale it is this little guy this is the Longchamp crossbody bag this is so good I knew when the Nordstrom sale came out that I wanted to get one of these Longchamp little pouches but I initially thought I wanted it in black well then when it was my turn to shop the black was sold out but they only had this gray and at first I thought well I don't think I want to get the gray I think I'll get more use out of the black but I'm so glad I got the gray because it's so pretty and it's kind of unique and different but this is so great because it has a top handle it also has this adjustable removable strap and then on the inside is so much room I did do a reel on Instagram sharing with you what fits this little bag fits so much and I love that it as a top handle top handles just make bags so easy to use and convenient it's also very comfortable to wear and these bags lately are all the rage so I will link this one down below unfortunately it's not on sale anymore but it is so good if you're looking for a new longchamp bag I would say the longchamp totes are really good too but between the totes and the crossbody I'm really loving this one I also did buy a brown one except that one did not have a strap but I've seen a lot of people buying the little kits where you can add a strap for that one but this is so good and I love the gray color it is so so pretty I want to talk about a swimsuit I know that summer is coming to an end but I have to talk about a swimsuit so as I mentioned I went to the beach with my family so usually when it comes to swimsuits I have a couple different I have some two pieces I have some one pieces but you know I am getting older I am 43 so sometimes when you go to the beach you want to be a little more covered up but it's hard to even find one uh, one piece bathing suits that kind of like hold you in suck you in in the right places but still kind of look kind of sexy I guess you could say and I found this suit on Amazon I will pop a picture but it is a halter suit so it kind of still looks a little sexy gives you a little bit of cleavage not that that's what I was going for but you know if you're wearing a one piece you want it to at least look kind of cute but it also you know it just kind of sucks you in in all the right places and I just loved it and the reason I'm saying this is one of my favorites is because out of all the suits I wore, my mom said, Amber, I love that suit. It's so cute. Where did you get it? And she kept complimenting me on it. And the cool thing about this one is I got it in black, but they have so many other colors. And I think this is the type of bathing suit that would look flattering on absolutely everybody. And I'm definitely thinking of picking up a few more colors but I really liked the halter style because a lot of bathing suits just have the straps and not a lot really have the halter style and I feel like the halter style is really flattering and because it was a one piece because it was a little lower cut it did kind of have a little more of that sexiness to it so I really really enjoyed this bathing suit I felt really comfortable in it so if you're looking for a new one piece that you know still kind of makes you feel sexy like definitely consider this one they had all types of colors and it was super affordable I want to say it was around $30 the final item I want to share and then I have a little unboxing is yes I am finally jumping on the bandwagon so I had told you I was like the last person on earth to have one of these until this collaboration didn't have a Stanley and then Love Shack Fancy collaborated with Stanley and I saw the beautiful collaboration I thought you know what this was the collaboration I was waiting for and it is this I have the Stanley this is in the beautiful pink I remember when they first came available I think it took me like 25 minutes to check out and I couldn't decide which one I wanted I should have gotten more at the time um, because this style sold out really quick but I wasn't sure if it was really worth the hype everyone talks about Stanley 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 and how great it is and let me tell you 
I went to the beach, I took my Stanley with me, and I took a water from the fridge, it was just a Dasani water, and I poured it in here. There was no ice or anything, but the water was cold because it was from the fridge. I took a sip of it, I left it sitting, and I just kind of forgot about it, and then the next day, I took a sip of my water, and it was still cold. Not just cold, but ice cold. So it didn't have any ice, it was just the water from the fridge. And I couldn't believe how cold it was. I was like, oh my gosh, now I see what everyone is talking about. And it mainly made me want another one, to be honest. So, okay, so that is where the unboxing comes. So I was not able to get this style because this style was sold out, but they did have a couple other styles available. And I knew I really, really wanted the purple because when I initially got this one, I could not, like, when I initially got the pink, I knew, I was like, oh, do I get the pink, do I get the purple? I had the purple in my cart, and then I switched to the pink, and I couldn't decide, but I said, Amber, you're not getting both, you have to pick one, and here we are. So I got the pink in that one, and I got the purple in this one. Packaging is beautiful, and this one is, the I love that it comes with a little dust bag. This is the all day slim bottle. And look, oh my god, it's so pretty. Look at it. So this one is 20 ounces and it just it's kind of like a soda bottle. And I love that. Like, look how cute this is. Was this unnecessary? Did I need it? No, but I knew I wanted something in this purple. And does this come off too? Let's see. Oh, this comes off too. Oh, that's great. Okay, so you can take it off two ways. You can take it off this way and put like ice in it. And then, it's, oh, that's good. So when you wash it, because I was a little worried it'd be hard to wash. So, oh my God, this is so cute. I love it. Okay, so I have the pink and then I have the purple. Look at the beautiful flowers. I don't know, which one do you think is prettier? This purple in person is so beautiful. I love, love Shack Fancy. I absolutely do. So beautiful. But that is not all. I got one more. I know. That's a little much. I didn't need another one. I didn't. But these were available and I just thought, you know what? I drink a lot of water and when that one Stanley is being washed. I'm gonna need another one. So that's where this one comes in. And then this one, again, you can tell it's a different style. But then I got this one, and you know what? I think they sent me the wrong one. Shoot. Okay, so I got this one, which of course, once again, is beautiful. But there, one of them was supposed to be the 20 ounce, and then the other one was like, I think it was either one size bigger. Once I smaller, I can't remember because I wanted to make sure. I, the only way I was justifying it to myself is if it was different. So I wonder if I made a mistake or they made a mistake. I bet you I probably made a mistake and then I got the wrong one. But either way, they're so pretty. So this one right here, so, so pretty. And these three, I have my quencher and then I have these little slim bottles. They are so beautiful, I have to say. I had always wanted a Stanley and I'm so glad I waited for these because these are just so beautiful and it just makes drinking water that much easier. So I'm not sure if they're still available. If they are, I will try to link them down below. I will actually link everything down below that I mentioned in today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Those are all the things that I've been loving. I know a lot of these items are really random, but when I do these favorites videos, I really want to share with you the true items that I just have absolutely been loving. And these are all the things I've either been reaching for or using quite a bit. And I try really hard not to do repeaters. Like a good example is my rings, like my love ring and my Justin Clue, I use those all the time and I just love them, but I think I've mentioned them in a couple of favorites, so I'm trying to kind of keep those out, but all these have been so great. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. It is so good to be back. I've definitely missed you guys. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.